Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. And when I say a community of collectors, we are indeed a community. Everything you see here was sent by you guys, the Potter Collector community. Welcome to another P.O. Box unboxing video. I also want to say a very happy 2024 to each and every one of you. Happy New Year. I'm going to put all of the smaller items in this USPS or United States Postal Service box. Some letter over here, over here. Normally we open up letters first. We're going to open up the packages first and then get down to the letters. So let me actually reorganize everything a little bit. So as I've said in past PO Box unboxing videos, I love these because I get to hear from you guys. I get to see what you guys sent, hear about your stories, how Harry Potter has inspired you, your trips to Universal Studios, Wizarding World of Harry Potter, all of the fun stuff. So I'm gonna go for the big box for Ron first. Normally I save like the big boxes for Ron for last, but we're gonna go for the big box for Ron. Let's come a little bit closer. There we go. All right, so we got a big old box for Ron. This is from Missouri. And what is in the big box for Ron? Now, you may be like, okay, Peter, I hear you say big box for Ron all the time in videos or, you know, whatever. That is a quote from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, I think? It's either Half-Blood Prince or Order of the Phoenix. I think it's Half-Blood Prince, but it might be Order of the Phoenix where Ron gets a Christmas gift. It's on Christmas. And then Mr. Weasley's like a big box for Ron. And then Mrs. Weasley's like a big box for Ron. So that's what I say. Ooh, there's a, a note in here as well as, oh, oh, I think I know what this probably is. This looks like a box of past uh, Wizarding Trunk or subscription box or other Harry Potter items. Now something cool that some of you in the Potter Collector community have done in the past is send some of the Harry Potter collectibles that you no longer want in your collection. You send it to me and then I sell it at Potter Collector sales to just help support the channel. So first of all, let me just say in the past to everyone who has sent stuff for a future Potter Collector sale to help support the Potter Collector channel. Big thank you, big shout out. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. And this is from the Hope family. I'm going through items of my friend who, who passed away. Your name and address was found on them? The enclosed box of items are believed to be intended to go to, oh my gosh. We hope they arrive to you in good condition. Sincerely, the Hope family. Oh my goodness. Guys, we lost a Potter Collector community member. I'm gonna have to write back to the the Hope family, I have their address, and um, see if I can get any more information about them. Uh, the, the community member who passed away. I'm trying to see if there's a, a note or something from, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna write, write to them. I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, I will see what information I can get. Send along my email address or something so that you can communicate faster. I don't really know what else to say except for that I would like to know who this this person was who passed away and we'll update you guys either in the description or a pinned comment or something. Obviously it's going to probably take some time for me to get the letter to them and hopefully they'll respond right away via uh, email. Maybe check back in a couple weeks. So wands up to whoever this was who was part of the Potter Collector community and um well, that's not, that's not the uh, thing I was, number one, expecting um, or uh, expecting f for our very first box to open up. All right, we have something from, let's open up some letters. I don't know why, but I feel like I want to open up a letter <laughs> now. All right, we have something from the United Kingdom, Scotland, Andrew in Scotland. Have a magical Christmas. I love this card. Oh, that's fun. We have a little card of Neville Longbottom. This is a chocolate frog card from Andrew. Very cool. Love that gold foiling. And love this card. Isn't that beautiful? Who makes this? Danilo. And Andrew says, just writing to wish you, Mama Potter Collector and your family, a magical Christmas and a happy new year. It will be a magical year for me as I'm going to Florida with my cousin for the first time to Disney and the Harry Potter parks on 
in September of 2024. Andrew, congratulations on your trip. That is just awesome. You and your cousin are gonna have an amazing time, especially if you're a Harry Potter fan. And we've heard from you before. I recognize your name. You and your cousin have an amazing time and happy new year to you as well. We have like a, uh, a card package and this is from Oregon. The Strange in origin, Oregon. You can read this on camera if you'd like. Okay, this says read first. It's funny, this is from Lestrange and I'm using Bellatrix Lestrange's um, dagger. All right, the note says, this is from Bellatrix Lestrange, the actual Bellatrix Lestrange, to our favorite Peter the Potter Collector. Oh, you're very sweet. While you are likely the only Peter the Potter Collector, you are nonetheless our favorite. My husband and I cosplay on the YouTube channel Lestrange Lair as Bellatrix and Rodolphus. At least our shrink says that we are supposed to tell the muggles it's cosplay. So we aren't doing that right now. It is cosplay. It's not cosplay. It's real, but let's not tell your shrink that. At any rate, I wanted to say hi to a fellow Slytherin, and we've sent along a new pet, ooh, fun, that you can wear. Mm. The dragon is holding a, a quartz crystal, and that is a nice strong cord that stretches over the head so it won't rust or tarnish. Sincerely, Bellatrix Lestrange. Let's see what this, so as you know, I love Love, love, love crystals and oh, that's beautiful. I've got a dragon and it is holding a quartz crystal cabochon. I am now wearing my pet dragon. Thank you guys very much. Next up is something from Tampa, Florida. This is from Abigail. I should warn you, the bird bites. Well, I will tell you, Abigail, that when this letter was delivered, the bird went for a little bite, but I was quicker. So I moved my hand out of the way just in time. Abigail said she drew a picture for my Slytherin friend, Pita. And the picture, oh, great. You knew, Abigail, that I was a Slytherin seeker. I open at the close. There's a beautiful picture of a snitch. I hope you love the golden snitch. Sorry if it looks bad. It does not look bad at all. I'm not that good at drawing. You're very good at drawing. Look at that, guys. I open at the close with that beautiful golden snitch flying around. Let's see what Abigail has written. Dear Peter, I know this is kind of soon to be writing to you. You can write to me anytime you want, but I have news. I wanted to start off by saying your singing voice is absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. I myself am an avid singer. I know how absolutely terrifying it is to get on stage and sing in front of people. So seeing you up on stage singing, it made me confident to do the same. Abigail goes on to say that she sung Believer by Imagine Dragons and was a big hit at her school. I was able to go to Universal Studios on a class trip. Lucky. What school are you going to? I might just apply and, and go to that school. It was amazing. I was able to ride Velocicoaster and Revenge of the Mummy, two fantastic rides if I do say so myself. I can proudly say that both live up to the hype. Indeed they do. But I have to say the best part of the trip was the fact that I was able to go to Diagon Alley in Wizarding World. I wish you could have been there because my reaction was one of pure joy. Keep doing what you do and say hi to Mama Potter Collector. And please remember, like, comment, subscribe, and remember, keep collecting. The more you sing, the less scary it is to be on stage in front of people. This shirt actually came from a Potter Collector community member. One of you guys sent this and we opened it up on a past P.O. Box unboxing. So I thought I have to wear it for this, this video. Next up, we have a letter from Ian in Tennessee. Dear my Potter collector, I've been a fan ever since I got into Harry Potter. I'm going to Universal this December and I'm trying to save my money. So far, I have $100. Also, do you have any tips for me? I got into Harry Potter from a friend in April of 2023. Ian, you said that you went in December, which was last month. I bet you had an incredible time and I hope you bought some amazing things with that money that you saved up. You tell Mama Potter Collector I said hi. I hope that you like my drawing. Oh, there's a drawing, fun. From Ian, the corner cutter. 3005 with a cushioning charm. Guys, this is like a poster for a brand new broomstick, which describes every part of the broomstick. Cedarwood bristles, titanium foot rests. That is fancy. A hole, oh, that's clever. A hole to hide your wand at the end of the broom. 721 galleons if you want that titanium foot rest. And there's a dragon heartstring core in the center to make the broom faster. I love that you described every single part of the broom. You sold it to me. If I saw this, I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna be buying a corner cutter 3005. 
We have something else from Andrew in Scotland. Some more chocolate frog cards. Mr. Birdie Bot of Every Flavor Beans. Andrew talks about how he's going to Orlando, which is awesome, and asks a few questions, one of which is, are there a good selection of vegetarian and vegan food options? They've added quite a few vegan and vegetarian options to Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So there are various options. I think one of which is a, a vegetarian uh, pasty instead of beef pasties. It's made with uh, like mushrooms. And then there are various salads. So there are, there, there are definitely some, I wouldn't say like a ton, but there are definitely some vegetarian or vegan options. Andrew, I hope that everything is perfect for your trip and everything that you hope it to be. We have a letter from our friend John in New York. John says, I got your letter a few days ago. I watched your PO unboxing, and wow, that was a lot of stuff. That was a crazy PO box unboxing. That was the biggest by far, it was nuts. Although I'm not as into Harry Potter as I once was, I still love watching your videos, especially the Peter Outside of Potter series. John talks about how he's been busy with school, and I started going to the gym three times a week and you haven't looked back. John decided that his health needed a change. It sounds like you are already understanding, talking about cutting in the, for the summer and then doing your bulk in the, in the winter. Sounds like you've got it down. Do you have any tips for my fitness journey? Find things that you love, that really helps. It's like, you know, I love to work certain parts of my body in the gym. And although there are things that I don't love, to do in the gym. Just find those things that you love and your excitement for, you know, whatever, leg day or push day or whatever. Sometimes it's really hard to do, but make sure you're getting plenty of protein in. One thing that I usually do is like break my workouts into pushing muscles, pulling muscles, and then legs. I found that to be successful for me. And then the other thing that I've found to be successful is to not focus on body fat percentage or like, you know, oh, I only gained a, whatever, a pound of muscle. Just do what you're doing, do it right and don't focus on numbers too much. That's something that I wish I had known earlier on in my kind of fitness journey. I'm so much happier, less stressed out, and I've found that if I don't focus on body fat percentage or constantly checking my weight, which can be a good thing, you know, to keep track of gains and everything, but don't hyper-focus on it. I wish that was something that I learned earlier. But the biggest thing, keep it up. This is from Brandon in California. Oh, this is awesome. It is a printout of Richard Harris's autograph. He had such a cool autograph, didn't he? I sent you an autograph of Richard Harris as Dumbledore because I know Richard Harris is your favorite Dumbledore. You are correct, my friend. How are the house renovations going along from Brandon? Brandon, the house renovations are done. I'm so happy. I couldn't be happier with how they turned out. Just, it's it's so nice. So thank you for asking. And thank you for this Richard Harris autograph. This is from Kelly in Ohio. And ooh, we got some goodies in here. Some goodies indeed. Ooh, look at all these goodies. Let's read the note first. My name is Kelly from Ohio. My wife and I are Harry Potter collectors. And I have an online store where I make some Harry Potter stuff out of resin. MNK Artistic Treasures is the name. I love your videos. They help me find the merch to buy to add to my collection. I've also enclosed a Hufflepuff pin for Mama Potter Collector. Guys, I love when you remember my mom. She always appreciates being remembered. So the fact that you sent along this, ooh, this is awesome. It's like 3D. This Hufflepuff pin for her, I will definitely make sure she gets it. And then we have a Slytherin necklace, very similar design for yours truly. Very cool, thank you for sending this, Kelly. And also, a Deathly Hollows keychain. Resin is just the coolest material to work with. All right, let's open up a box. This is from California. Some of these are older packages or letters. This is the first Kyo boxing I think we've done in maybe like eight months. This is cute. Oh, look! Oh. Okay, so we have two opened mystery ornaments. We've got a Death Eater and Draco, but we have an unopened one that we can open up right here. Ooh, the Hogwarts Express would be cool to find. And the Hogwarts Express is a super rare. Give me the Hogwarts Express! We got Harry Potter in his Quidditch robes. I love mystery things. 
As you all know, I love mystery things. Thank you for sending this along. I had to open those up before the actual card, so let's open up the card next, or the, the letter. My name is Diane, and I've been a fan of Harry Potter and his world since the books came out. I purchased the books for my son through Scholastic when they sold them through the schools. Your YouTube channel was the second Harry Potter channel, which I started enjoying about a year ago. Diane's favorite book is Sorcerer's Stone, and favorite movie is Prisoner of Azkaban. I am ready to retire next year after being Oh, fun. Being in the medical field for 41 years. That's awesome. As you say, Harry Potter spans all ages. 100% it does. I sent you a Christmas present. Fingers crossed you open it on time. I did not open it on time. But it's a New Year's present for Christmas. I heard that you love The Little Mermaid. I do love The Little Mermaid. The one wrapped in brown paper is based on the original story of The Little Mermaid written by one of your favorite authors. Also, I have enclosed one of the Harry Potter ornaments series that I found at Hallmark. I hope you and your family have a happy Christmas and New Year. We've got a brown paper package with something intriguing inside. What if Ariel... Oh. Part of your world, a twisted tale. What if Ariel had never defeated Ursula? That is interesting. So this is a story all about what would have happened if Ursula was not defeated. Ursula, if you didn't know, is my favorite Disney villain. This is awesome. I'm very intrigued now. And then we have this here. Oh! Mina Lima! This was done by Mina Lima, The Little Mermaid, based on the Hans Christian Andersen stories. If you guys didn't know, Mina Lima didn't just, you know, create illustrated editions of the Harry Potter books. They have a whole series of beautiful illustrated books. Fairy tales, I mean, obviously this one right here, The Little Mermaid. And no, I do not have this yet. Let's take a quick look at what's inside. Well, here's the, the front cover. And like, you can expect to see the same things you see in the illustrated editions, like these pop-ups and pop-outs. Just absolutely beautiful what Mina Lima have done with these, these books. So if you did not know, now you know. And Diane, no. I do not have this book. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. I can't wait to flip through this and actually read the real story because I've just seen the Disney movie. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you too. Next up is a letter from Sakura. And Sakura says, I hope you're doing well. It is great to see all of your videos, especially the mystery unboxings. Did you enjoy playing Hogwarts Legacy? I've definitely enjoyed it. I'm not done yet. I'm planning to get back to that live stream area and start playing again and getting our story finished. Sakura goes on to talk about how you went to the theme parks and you bought the Ravenclaw robes and Gryffindor as well and how much you love the ice cream at the New York store. I think it is the best food for Harry Potter edibles. I agree, it's fantastic. The store soft serve ice cream is perfect. Stay safe, happy, and healthy. Sakura, thank you so much for writing. This is from Washington. Hello, my name is Louise, and I live in, oh, Western Australia, WA, Western Australia, not Washington, silly me. I'm 58 and a half years old, and I am a Gryffindor, just like Harry, Ron, and Hermione. I have a learning disability, and as you can see, my printing is shocking. No, your printing is fantastic. I can read every word. I was born with it. I love watching your YouTube channel and have subscribed to it, and I'm trying to save money at the moment to buy some Harry Potter stuff. I got all the books and some wands, and I will be hopefully watching on September 1st. Your Harry Potter fan, Louise. I watched you play Hogwarts Legacy and did comment on you playing. Well, guess what? As I mentioned a second ago, we're gonna be playing again soon, so make sure you tune in, and it'd be great if you can catch one of the live streams. I try to split them up, you know, some during the day, some some at night, some later at night, so that more people around the world are able to join in too. So hopefully you're able to catch one in the future. This is from David, and David has asked me not to read this on the channel, so I'm going to read this off screen. So David mentions, and I'm not sharing anything, um, uh, that he was surprised that I open and read the letters in these videos before having read them first. Um, so I do edit these videos. So if say I, I read something um, and 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 the writer said, you know, 
at the end of a letter that I maybe read on camera, please don't read this. And I realized at the end, I wasn't supposed to read it. I'll just edit that out of the, of the final video. So since this isn't live, I do go through a lot of editing with these PO box videos. So don't worry in the future, as long as it says some somewhere in the letter, you know, please don't read this or share this information. I will cut it out of, of, of the video. But David, I appreciate you writing and sharing some of your story and I will absolutely keep it private. This is from Sandra in New New Zealand and Sandra says, oh, this is cool paper. Wait, this is, this is awesome paper. My name is Sandra. I'm 49 years old, a wife, mom, grandma, and registered nurse from New Zealand. That is awesome. Thank you for what you do. In March this year, I was vi violently assaulted in an armed robbery and car jacking. As you can imagine, I was very traumatized by this experience. I've been off work for 10 weeks and as my arm was badly broken, requiring surgery. During this time, I discovered you on YouTube, igniting my love for all things Potter. You have made me smile through this very difficult time, and we have hung out together in the middle of the night when sleep eluded me, and during the day when I felt so alone. I was sorry to hear that you also required surgery and hope that you are recovering well. In October, I'm going to visit my brother and his daughters. In England, I'm also gonna spend the day at the Warner Brothers tour in London, and I'm super excited. So I thank you for you, your kind, outgoing personality, your dedication to your community, and your genuineness. You helped me get through. Yours in collecting, Sandra. Sandra, I'm so sorry to hear about what absolutely had to be a traumatizing experience. I was talking to my family the other day, um, New Year's Eve, we we did a like a question, like each of us asked a question like, you know, what was, what's uh, something that you hope for, for the next year, for 2024? And someone came up with a question, what was like your high point and what was your low point of 2023? And my low point was rupturing my bicep, which was kind of traumatizing to me. Um, especially when uh, a couple weeks ago I went back to the spot that it happened and it, I'd never experienced post-traumatic trauma or stress or anything like that where it's like I walked up to the place and I immediately felt pain in my arm. It was the weirdest thing. Like I'm, I'm fine, but it, it was just a weird experience. So th then the reason I'm saying this is because like this is nothing absolutely nothing compared to what you had to go through. So I'm very sorry that you had to go through that and are possibly still dealing with the repercussions of it. Um, so I hope the absolute best for you, both physically and mentally, as you move on from, from that experience. I mean, Harry Potter has helped so many people get through so many different things, all different things, happy things, sad things. So I hope that you just continue to turn on that light. And the fact that I was able to just kind of be there and hang out with you through the videos is, is very, very cool to hear. Um, and also very cool to hear that you went to the studio tour in London back in October. So Sandra, once again, thank you for what you do. I hope you're back to work and thank you very, very much for writing. This is from Persephone in Idaho. Got some magic mail here. And the letter says, I'm so happy your surgery went well. I've been reading the books with my nine-year-old daughter and she loves to watch your videos with me. We are starting The Prisoner of Azkaban soon and I have loved sharing this world with her. The fact that you get to do that and are doing that, I just, I love hearing that parents are just sharing Harry Potter with their kids. I read what you wrote and can understand it, but I do just kind of avoid and stay away from that particular subject. I have loved both of the Keep Collecting Boxes and look forward to the third. I hope you loved the third. I cannot wait to see what you have in store. Keep collecting. P.S. Say hello to Mama Potter Collector for me. Thank you so much for writing this magical mail. Next up, we have a letter from Zachary. And inside, ooh, what's this? <gasps> cocoa. Love myself some cocoa. Uh, my name is Zachary, and I just wanted to say thank you for your magic magical and warming content you create. Thanks to you, I have been going back and rereading the Harry Potter books, gaining a new appreciation for them. That is such a cool little sentence you wrote there. It's really interesting for anyone watching who hasn't reread the books. You notice things that you never noticed the first time, knowing the story and everything, and you do get a different appreciation for the books and just how they were written. It's just, it's awesome. I always look forward to when you have a new video uploaded. Your videos were a comfort for me when I had COVID. Oof, COVID is not fun. Dumbledore is my favorite. Thank you again, Peter, for keeping the magic going and for your good heart. Thank you and God bless. Sincerely, Zachary. Well, Mr. Zachary, thank you for the delicious cocoa mix, which I am definitely gonna have. Chocolate Supreme cocoa mix. 
We have a letter from Canada, and this is from Chloe. Chloe says, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm a professional performer based in Toronto, Canada. I'm a massive Harry Potter fan and wanted to reach out and say thank you for all of the awesome content you put out. I was wondering how canon you feel the content of Cursed Child is. I didn't love the story when I first read it, but after seeing the show, it brought me so much joy to see my favorite characters come to life on stage. Very similar. I mean, I don't think the story is canon at all, no matter what anybody says. It's not canon, it's glorified fan fiction that was approved by J.K. Rowling. However, the stage show was so beautiful, you know, you kind of forget about the poorness of the story and the just ridiculousness of it. I'm not a fan of Cursed Child, but the stage show was beautiful. It's clear to me that your videos bring so much magic to so many people around the world. Thanks again for all that you do and for sharing your amazing collection with so many fans. Chloe is asking about her childhood copy of Philosopher's Stone, the Canadian version, um, with one one printed twice on page 53. The copyright page also states that the book is printed on 100% ancient forest free paper. I would love to hear your thoughts. So a lot of the Canadian editions, both paperback and hardcover, have that error on page 53, and it doesn't make it rare. Really the rarest Canadian editions are printing two through four or five. And when I say printing number two, you may be thinking, Peter, what about first printing? There never was an official first printing of Philosopher's Stone. The first printing is technically the second printing based on the copyright page. So if it has numbers 10 to two, that's actually the first printing Canadian edition. And I have a, a video all about that here on the channel. But printing is kind of the, the main thing to look for when it comes to the Canadian editions. If it has a number line from 10 to two or 10 to three or 10 to four, it's a pretty rare book. When it comes to value, the second printing, first printing is the most valuable and the most rare the third and fourth printing value-wise or, you know, depending on condition, could go for $150 to $300. I hope that you have an incredible Christmas and that the new year brings lots of joy. All the best, Chloe. Well, Miss Chloe, thank you for writing and hopefully that book of yours happens to be a, a second printing, first printing. We've got something from Jessica in Minnesota. I know Jessica. Jessica M. Oh, with a beautiful card. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Look at that owl with a fun headdress on. Got some stickers, very fun decals. And Jessica says, it matters not what someone is born, but what they grow up to be. Will we see you at Uncelebration this year? Love, Jessica. Jessica, 99% yes but there's still that 1% that no. But most likely, yes, I will be there this year. This is from the Fultz family in Tennessee. <laughs> this is awesome, I love this movie. Love this movie. I cannot wait for Epic Universe when I get to go into How Do You Train Your Dragon land. Amazing, amazing films. Wishing you happiness this holiday season with love, Holly, Janice, and Jeff. That's so cute, that is so cute. Merry Christmas to you guys too. Okay, next up, we've got something from Lindsay in New York. Aw, Lindsay put a little sticker that says, you're the best. Well, you're the best, Lindsay. Lindsay says, my name is Lindsay, and I am 21 years old, a Slytherin from upstate New York. I wanted to write to you because I discovered your channel a few months ago while researching Harry Potter art box cards. I collect costume cards and was so happy to see someone who shares my passion for the card packs. I continue to binge watch your videos and they've been such a comfort to me. I'm very introverted, me too. So seeing someone who also adores the wizarding world makes me feel less alone. Lindsay goes on to talk about how she saw Daniel Radcliffe in his Broadway musical and was fortunate enough to meet him after the show. That's awesome. And you got a selfie and autograph. You also visited the Harry Potter store in New York and was blown away. Thank you for your videos about the store as they helped me notice all of the little details while I was there. I hope you have an incredible holiday season. And as said by Hagrid, cheer up. It's nearly Christmas. Say happy, healthy, and keep collecting. Lindsay also sent along. Oh, that's beautiful penmanship. One of my favorite quotes by my favorite character. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. So someone watching this right now, if you need to hear this, this is your reminder to turn on the light even in your darkest times. And I know it can be hard. Believe me, I know it can be hard to, you know, turn on that light in your darkest times, but it does work, just like chocolate. This is from Joshua in England. Ooh, Joshua has sent a bunch of goodies here. Looks like a bookmark. 
Love that. On one side it's blank, but on the other side it says Slytherin. Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone, it takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. Albus Dumbledore. Great quote there. What is this? Harry Potter. Another bookmark, beautifully colored. Love that. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, our home, Hogwarts Castle. And we have a note, a note, a note, a note. Harry Potter, the collector. I hope my owl gets to you. I really like your videos and watching them all the time. I hope you like the bookmarks and picture. Keep collecting, Joshua. Thank you so much for the goodies. Next up is, I think another thing from England. Ooh, look at these wands. <gasps> I'm gonna call these Slytherin wands. Look at this. They are green, the color of Slytherin. Very cool. And this is from Ellie. Oh, and Arlo from Northern Ireland. So UK, not, not England. I am seven years old from Northern Ireland and have been into Harry Potter for a year. I am a Ravenclaw. I have made a Slytherin wand, I hope you like it, from Arlo. Arlo, I love it. And then from Ellie, my name is Ellie and I have made a battle wand for you. I hope that you like it. These are incredible. So cool. As a Slytherin, I need a battle wand because people just want to throw spells at Slytherins. It's crazy. And then on the back, we've got the Ravenclaw Crest. Beautifully done. Love the wands. Thank you guys so much for writing. All right, we've got a few more letters to open up, but let's open up another box. This is from Canada, from Finn in Canada. Da -da -da. Ooh, it's a box of goodies. Let's read the note first. My name is Finn and I am eight years old and I came across your videos on YouTube three years ago. I've watched all of the Harry Potter movies and I love reading the first book. My Patronus is a stag, lucky you, and I am a Slytherin. High five. Slytherins unite, but you have a better Patronus than I do. Now I have some questions. Do you have the tall Harry Potter books with the pictures? I do, somewhere. They're too tall for my shelves, but I've got them somewhere. Finn has also included some really fun goodies here, a Quidditch bookmark, as well as Goblet of Fire. Look at this, guys. So Cedric, Fleur, oh fun, Mama Potter collector. We've got Harry Potter, Victor Crumb, Peter Kenneth, as well as some blank ones for me to write my own names on them. Isn't it crazy that Mama Potter collector wanted to be in the Triwizard Tournament? Also included a chocolate frog card, the first witch to become the Minister for Magic. Love this bookmark and a ministry memo that we can hang from our ceiling. Very, very fun. And a Rowena potion. Finn, this box of goodies is a box of goodies. Thank you so much for sending it. All right, what is, this is very heavy. From Peeves. So if you've not been on the, the Discord, I know I'm waving this dagger around, it's very dangerous, it killed Dobby. Um, so Peeves, if you don't know, as I'm still pointing the dagger, Let's just put it down. If you've not been on the Discord, Peeves is a member of our Discord channel who causes mischief. So fun. I know the person behind Peeves, the character, but Peeves has sent this all the way from Vermont. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I had a feeling, Peeves, that this is what was gonna be inside. So Peeves knows that I love Reese's peanut butter cups. Just Reese's in general. Okay, let's read the note first. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. I'm not gonna share your name because I think it's fun if it's like, th this is Peeves. Love Peeves. <laughs> oh boy. We've got Reese's with Reese's Puff minis. Uh, the best thing in the world. Shapes or trees. Some more Reese's trees. Oh, the Reese's bells. I've not had the bells yet. Reese's Bells. Ooh! Reese's Pieces Cookie Mix. I've not had this before. Hot chocolate. Oh, this is so fun! Apple cider. This is like a, a winter care package. We've also got coffee cake. Reese's Coffee Cake Mix with Reese's Peanut Butter Chips. This is probably delicious. And, oh, I can make this and then have pieces for breakfast with my coffee. A coffee cake. Duh, Peter. Ooh, fun. Sprinkles. Elf snot. <laughs> Typical Peeves item. You can imagine Peeves sending something like that. <laughs> yes. Perfect. I love maple syrup. Love maple syrup. And this is 
State of Vermont Pure Maple Syrup. Amber with rich taste from Shaker Maple Farm. That's fun. So this is actually like a family that does, that that makes this, produces this. I like, I love maple syrup. Love it, love it, love it. And I've, I mean, I've had like store-bought maple syrup from Vermont, but this seems like it's the real deal. The flavor is, this is just maple syrup, right? 100% pure maple syrup. It has like the perfect sweetness, vanilla undertones. Obviously the maple flavor is really strong. This is an amazing maple syrup. I could drink this bottle. I could drink this bottle. That's how much I love maple syrup. Mmm. This is the best maple syrup I've ever had. I can't wait for breakfast tomorrow. I'm having pancakes. What else do we have here? A mug. We've got a mug for our hot chocolate and our apple cider. Oh, fun, I don't have one of these. It's a color changing mug, so as it gets hot, like the picture appears on the mug itself. So right now it's cold, so you can't see the picture, but then magic happens when you put a hot liquid inside. Perfect. I can have my morning coffee with my coffee cake and a side of pancakes and maple syrup. We also have, oh, this is fun. It's delicious. I've had one of these before, and it's a Reese's mug cake. And this is like the perfect before you go to bed treat. Like you just make your little Reese's mug cake, eat it up, and your stomach's happy. So peas and Aziza, thank you very, very much. This will be perfect for the next Secret Keepers meeting. Oh wait, the snot. Gotta open up the snot. Wait, what is this? Oh boy, here we go. Ooh, ooh, weird. It's like super liquidy, but not liquid. <laughs> Like my hands aren't wet at all. This isn't like your typical slime. This is so weird. It just, this is very, very cool. I've never seen slime like this. I guess I've just never experienced the snot from an elf before. All right, we have another package here. This is from Texas. All right, we've got a package here as well as some letters. That's beautiful. Look at that envelope. Dear Mr. Peter Kenneth, it is my utmost honor to give you one of my latest edition wands. I do hope you enjoy it, and I hope that it makes a wonderful part of your collection as well as serves you well in any and all future wizarding ventures. Sincerely, Wand Master. Let's take a look. Oh, this is really cool. I love the use of twine. And it's like a darker twine too. It's not your typical, well, it's not twine, it's like a rope, but it has like a darker shade than typical twine. It feels richer and it, it's really nice to hold actually. And then we've got the wand itself, really dark stain, nice sharp tip and silver on both ends of the handle. There's some shimmer along the shaft of the wand. And we've also got another letter I've been a fan of Harry Potter ever since I saw the first movie. When I found your YouTube channel, I was ecstatic to find a YouTuber who did all kinds of Harry Potter product reviews. I hope you enjoy the wand I made with care, and each part of the wand represents a part of you in particular. For example, when you sent me an image of your wand specs, I saw that it had dragon heartstring core. This represented in the wand through the charred body of the wand. Clever, okay, I like that. As for the handle, the brown represents your down-to-earth personality, and finally, the silver wax represents two things. The first thing being your Slytherin house pride. And the second thing that the silver wax represents is the inner Niffler inside of you. Accurate. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope that you enjoy this wand to the fullest extent. Sincerely, Kiev. I love that you fashioned this based on myself. That is so cool. And it's interesting that you chose this particular color for kind of, it, cause it feels very earthy. And I feel like I am pretty down to earth and this definitely gives like an earthy feel. This is awesome. Thank you for the time and effort you put into this. We have another big box over here. I feel like we should open this up next. This is from Carrie in New York. Says, Peter, please open this first. I hope all is well with you and how are the shows going? The shows being White Christmas. The shows went great. Included is a gift for you and a gift for, for Max and Jet. I know how important they are to you. I wanted to do something kind for you because you have been so kind to me. My life has been happier since getting to know you. I hope that you and your family have a wonderful Christmas. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas, Carrie. I mean, we talked a little bit after Christmas, but I hope that you also had a wonderful Christmas. Ooh, this is a beautiful, beautiful sparkly card. Look at that, look at that sparkle. This is adorable. We've got a Hedwig plush delivering 
a Hogwarts letter. These are adorable for Max and Jet. Look at this. They're rope toys, but they're Nimbus 2000s. And there are two of them. That's so kind of you to think about them. This is so cute. And we've got some wrapped goodies in here. Feels like Christmas all over again. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this is cute. They don't have stockings. Carrie, this is so cute. Two stockings, one for Max, one for Jet. And what's crazy is my stocking is similar. It's white with red. So these will match perfectly for next year. And then we've got a bag with some wrapped goodies in here. Ooh, some elf pens. Elf is arguably the best Christmas movie, in my opinion. In my opinion. You know I love myself some dinosaurs. And this is Giganotosaurus. Love it, love it, love it. These are all from the, the last Jurassic World movie. We also have... Oh, fun. I did talk about Beanie Babies. So this is Mystic. I know right away who this is. This is Mystic, one of the original Beanie Babies. So if you didn't know, I used to collect Beanie Babies and I actually started to collect like the, I think it's 20th anniversary or 30th anniversary, 25th anniversary, one of those. I started to collect, like they re-released some of them like with different colors and stuff. So I started collecting those, but this is very cute. And I used to own Mystic. So thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's get back into some letters. This is from, um, Michigan, Emma in Michigan. Love the decoration on this envelope. Ooh, cool bracelet. Definitely putting this on right now. Slytherin pride, baby. We've got a bookmark. Ooh, a couple bookmarks. Oh, I think we have all four houses. Each one is labeled different scarf bookmarks. Very cool. I see my favorite character, Albus Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore. And Emma says, I hope my owl reaches you safely, but this might have been delivered the muggle way. By the way, I am 10 years old and a proud Gryffindor. Dad is also a Slytherin just like you. My sister is too. My mom and brother don't know yet. I'm the only Harry Potter fan in my family. It was funny when I found out we both say Potter the same way. I started to stop liking Harry Potter until I watched Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Then I watched your videos and I clicked onto them. Now I love Harry Potter and your videos. Do you get a lot, do you get all your stuff from eBay? A lot of it does come from eBay. eBay is a great place to get Harry Potter stuff. People at school make fun of Harry Potter and I feel like they bully me, but very rarely. I think of my enemy at school as he <laughs> must not be named. Someone at school calls my crush Ron the Weasley instead of Ron Weasley. I'm about to start fifth grade and by the time you get this, I might be in sixth. I hope you like the bookmarks and also hope that you have a Lumos rest of your day, not Knox. Well, Miss Emma, as I've said in past PO Box unboxing videos, the haters of Harry Potter, they don't know what they're missing. So if they make fun of Harry Potter, they wish that they were Harry Potter fans or they've just never experienced Harry Potter because I don't understand someone experiencing Harry Potter for real, for real watching the movies, for real reading the books, and not becoming a Harry Potter fan. It's crazy. So don't let the muggles get you down and keep loving what you love. P.S. I did this with a how to draw video. That's very, very cool. And also say hi to Mama Potter Collector. I will indeed say hi to Mama Potter Collector. Thank you so much for writing, Emma. We have a letter from Buffalo, New York. My name is Raven and I'm a Hufflepuff. The reason I got into Harry Potter was because my two best friends are Harry Potter fans. And one day I happened to run into your YouTube channel and you were so genuine and real that I subscribed instantly. So thank you. Your Hufflepuff friend, Raven. Raven, thank you very much for your kind words and also for writing. This is from Canada. Oh, Canada. To the Potter Collector and Mama Potter Collector, hope Christmas brings lots of happiness your way from Phil. Thank you so much. This is from Florida, Lisa in Florida. Have a great holiday in Hogwarts. You too, Lisa. If, if I lived at Hogwarts or went to school at Hogwarts, I would absolutely stay every Christmas. Sorry, family, but I'm staying at Hogwarts for Christmas. It's just seven years, it's just seven years. Then I'll have all the other Christmases with you, but I'm staying at Hogwarts for Christmas, every Christmas that I can possibly get. We have another letter from David and he mentioned how like the first part of the letter was okay to read. David talks about how he came across the channel accidentally and started watching the magical unboxings and was entertained by my enthusiasm and childlike amazement at what I was un unboxing. I am always amazed <laughs> at the things it does. It brings out the child in me or anyone. Harry Potter just does that for, for so many people. I can't believe how you're able to get me to wave a wand 
And Ryder Broomer cast a spell simply by the childlike excitement and wonder you exude each episode through my TV. It is difficult to believe that I'm the only one you've managed to have such a positive effect on. How many people can take a passion and turn it into a vehicle to make such a contribution in people's lives from all over the world? And the really cool thing is that you seem to maintain an innocence and humility that you must have been born with because I don't think you'd have been able to fool anyone for so everyone for so long. Thank you for that recognition as well as that insight. You're the real deal and I'm glad that you're out there doing what you're doing. And David, as you mentioned, I will keep the rest of this private. But I do want to say that I hope the absolute best for you as you continue on with what you're going through. We've got something that was sent from Hogsmeade at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Good things come in small packages and it's a picture of the Philosopher's Stone, or Sorcerer's Stone, wrapped in brown paper package, tied up with string. And inside is <gasps> Starbucks. I love me some Starbucks. This is from Angel, and Angel says, Happy Christmas, wishing you hope, peace, and lots of Christmas Reese's, and fa la 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 lattes. <laughs> Thank you for all you do, and bringing the Potter Collector community full of joy, laughter, and magic. Always, Angel. Witchy Angel! Ambiance, I know you. Thank you, Angel. That's so sweet of you to send this. And I will absolutely have a follow la la latte on you and think about you as I'm drinking it. Thank you so much. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And also, Angel, I hope I see you at celebration or uncelebration at the end of this month. All right, we've got some large envelopes left. And we're coming to the end of this unboxing. This is from I don't know who or from where. What have we here? We've got a little cat, one of the animals you can bring to Hogwarts. Owl, cat, or a toad. And this is from Jordan, who is 28, from Michigan, and a Hufflepuff. And Jordan's husband is a Ravenclaw. We have an old man cat named Stinky. His name isn't actually Stinky, but he always has a st stinky look on his face. He does kind of have a stinky look on his face. Look at that. I've been a fan since I was in the third grade and I'm currently a college student, future art teacher here, and only one year of interning away from my degree. Congratulations! And you'll be certified for K through 12. In 2016 I was struggling a lot with depression, but the Sorcerer's Stone book and Harry Potter films got me through the darkest Heart. Harry Potter will absolutely do that for you. I was watching your most recent P.O. Box unboxing while writing this, and now I have to put this letter in a house robe card to keep up the trend. Ha ha ha. It was so funny. So in, in one of the P.O. Box videos, like it seemed like every single card was one of the robe cards from the first uh, Keep Collecting Box. It was awesome. Ariel is also my favorite princess Disney film and I'm obsessed with Ursula. Oh, Jordan has made a charm for myself and Mama Potter Collector. And this year you're going to Dollywood. You probably have already gone to Dollywood for the first time for your sibling's birthday. Dollywood is so fun. It's an awesome, awesome theme park. Thank you for reading my letter and thank you for making videos and bringing a community of collectors together. As someone who has filmed and trashed a thousand YouTube videos, I know it is not always easy, but I really appreciate you, especially during my first trip of uh, to the Wizarding World. You also inspired me to purchase some different versions of the Harry Potter series. I notice you also hinting at being a Pokemon fan as well as Harry Potter. What is your favorite first gen starter Pokemon? Mine is Squirtle. Charmander. Charmander for me. And I love that you asked about the first gen Pokemon. Those are the only Pokemon that I like deem as Pokemon. All the other ones are just not Pokemon. The original 151 are the only Pokemon in my opinion. <laughs> I know those are probably fighting words for some people. All right, let's see what else you sent here. Oh, fun, your collection. Holy cow, that's a huge collection. Here's some pictures and descriptions of what is included. Oh, and some more close-ups too. Very fun. Oh, I recognize a few things. I see the Chamber of Secrets piggy bank, some wizarding trunk items, lit joy items from Jordy Pants Boutique. Oh, cool! Oh, and this little resin wand that you mentioned. That itty bitty teeny tiny resin wand. And these adorable little charms. I mean, I'm obviously keeping the green one, but Mama Potter Clutcher will get the yellow one. They're like little potions, so cute. Jordan, thank you so much for writing and thank you also for sending these goodies. These I'm gonna open up in a second. From Callie in Connecticut. What's this little cute thing? Oh, that's adorable. It's a, a, a koosh, a T-Rex koosh. That's so fun. Look at that little cutie. This is so cute. 
It's a koosh. What have we here? Oh, that's cool. It's P wax seal in silver to represent Peter and Slytherin. Two bookmarks. One for me, the Potter Collector. We are a group of collectors. And this is for Mama Potter Collector. Again, thank you guys for remembering Mama Potter Collector. And we have a velvet Slytherin card. That's awesome. And this is from Spirit. This is Spirit, AKA Caroline. I'm 36. I think sometimes I forget how old I am. <laughs> I'm to that point too, where it's like, I forget how old I am. I have to actually think about it. I am writing to you all the way from Connecticut. I thought I was just going to give you the bookmarks, one for you and one for Mama Potter Collector. I wanted to talk to you about the Jurassic Park toy I gifted you. It comes from a game store I got to in my favorite place in P town Cape Cod, Massachusetts. I don't know what it is, but I thought that you could get a good laugh when you look at it. Oh, absolutely. I think it's so cute. You were my first Harry Potter YouTuber and inspired me to start my own YouTube channel at Spirited Reviews. Love Spirit. Spirit, thank you so much. This is awesome. Thanks for seeing this and thinking of me. That's very kind. It's adorable. This is from Nicholas in Florida. And Nick says, the reason I'm sending you this gift is to say, Thank you. Thank you for encouraging everyone, including myself, to keep collecting. With the discovery of your channel, I've found my way of diving into these fandoms and by doing so, bringing more joy to my life. Wanted to send some appreciation. Don't ever stop. I'm going to have a collection as big as yours someday. I hope you have a collection bigger than mine someday. As I always say, keep collecting. And Nick builds props and pieces around the franchise and enjoys creating pieces. DIY fandom prop channel. Fandom builds. Oh, it's wood. This is cool. I've never seen this used in any type of Harry Potter merchandise. Eye of Rabbit. Harp string hum, turn this water into rum, Seamus Diggory. And it's to hang on your wall. So well done. Nick, this is awesome. What's Seamus trying to do? Turn that water into rum? He managed a weak tea yesterday. The full. We've got something else from Carrie in New York. What have we here? Oh, so I may be late for this, but I'm still gonna enjoy the chocolate. It is a Disney chocolate advent calendar. Carrie, thank you so much. I'm gonna have the chocolate and I'm gonna be very happy. Oh, this is awesome. Beautiful bookmark made by Carrie. And this is Carrie's Bear, which she named after yours truly. This advent calendar is a small gift for you to start your holiday season off. More packages to come, which we already opened up. Can't wait for the next Secret Keeper Zoom chat. Keep collecting, Carrie. Well, Miss Carrie, again, I'm late, I know, but thank you for the chocolate, which I will very much enjoy all in one sitting. This is from Kirsten in the United Kingdom, an envelope full of goodies. Let's read the note first. Hi there, Peter, your videos are so inspiring from collecting Harry Potter items and learning so much from what to collect and to gain my Harry Potter knowledge. Thank you for all of the effort that you put into your videos. It really does come across. My favorite videos of yours are when you visit the Wizarding World, plus your recent Hogwarts Legacy videos. Plus, what a pro gamer you are. <laughs> From Kirsten, a Gryffindor. I do feel like I started, well, until I stopped playing again. I felt like I was doing pretty darn good. Even though I'm like a non-gamer, I felt like I was doing pretty well with Hogwarts Legacy. But as I mentioned earlier in this video, the live streams, they're coming back. I'm determined we're gonna finish our story. Let's see what you sent here. Got a little scroll. Just a little something, you can keep it or pass it on. Keep collecting. I love this, like the whole look of this. The color choices, the paper, the gold, and the, the green. Feels very Dumbledore, very magic. Oh cool, we've got some Harry Potter stickers. Are these, is this a sticker? We have some Harry Potter stickers as well as a card. Oh, it's like a little, it's like a little panini card. Very fun. And then a metal Horcrux dog tag or mini card showing Nagini, one of the Horcruxes. Oh, this is awesome. A little button badge, nine and three quarters, platform nine and three quarters, showing Harry going through the platform for the first time or attempting to find the platform for the first time. Thank you so much, Kirsten. This is from Tyler. And inside we have, oh, this is a Tyler. This is awesome. My name is Tyler and I'm 12 years old. I've been watching your channel for about two years now. And I have to say, it is my dream to meet you. I hope I get to meet you too. Oh, also Mama Potter Collector and Thomas and 
and Michael. If I get bummed out or just want to watch something awesome, I turn to you. I learned about Harry Potter when I was seven and I've been a huge fan ever since. Sincerely, one of your biggest fans, Tyler. P.S. Can you, Mama Potter Collector, Thomas and Michael, please sign and send back the collage I made. Absolutely. Guys, this is what Tyler made, and he would like the four of us to sign this. Tyler, this is so fun. Thank you so much for writing. We've got one more item from Thomas in California. If I'm not mistaken, I know who this is from. Thomas the Artiste. Have we here? Ha <laughs> ha! That's amazing! So Thomas is an artist who works for Disney. And Thomas has... Well, hold on. Hold on. Let's read the notes first. <laughs> this is so fun. Hello, Peter. Merry Christmas or happy birthday, depending on when you open this. Merry Christmas. My name is Thomas and I work at the Animation Academy at Disneyland California Adventure. Last year, I sent you a print I made of Dobby and I still have that print you made of Dobby. I'm sending you a drawing I did of your favorite Disney character, Ursula. If you ever come to Disney California Adventure, I'll happily teach you how to draw her. I would love that. Every year I create my own Christmas cards and four different themed birthday cards. The theme has been Disney for several years, but this year it's all about the wizarding world. My wife Peggy and I are both senior Harry Potter fans. I am 64. You are never too old to love Harry Potter. 100% true. We're traveling to Scotland and England to experience the wizarding world where it started. Peter, both Peggy and I think you are a wonderful host. We love that you are so kind to everyone who writes to you, especially the children. As a Disney cast member, I know how important that is. Please keep doing the magic that you do. Sincerely, Thomas. I know you guys want to see Ursula, but we're gonna look at these cards real quick that Thomas has created. Oh, that's beautiful. We've got beautiful Hogwarts in the snow. Happy birthday. This is a birthday card, fun. Thestrals and Hippogriffs, my favorite magical creatures. So that was a birthday card, <laughs> depending on when I opened it. And then the previous one was Merry Christmas. And then we've got, oh, it's a little Niffler. I'm gonna put this with my blank cards to use. This is Norbert, AKA Norberta. Very, very cute. And last but not least, we have Hedwig. Thomas, these are awesome. Introducing Ursula herself. Drawn by Thomas. Poor unfortunate soul. That's awesome. Thomas, thank you so much for remembering. Ursula is my favorite. And also Peggy, hello to you too. All right, last but not least, these items came from uh, Timu, uh, sent from Peeves. And Peeves wanted me to, so during one of our Secret Keeper Zoom chats, we talked about items from Wish and Timu and that sort of thing. And Peeves sent along some items so that I could take a look at the quality of them, of these Harry Potter replica items. All right, this looks like just some glitter. We've got some glitter here. What is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a little dinosaur. It's like a little dinosaur puzzle. Oh, it's a Dilophosaurus. I'm gonna put it together. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why it's in this position, but it's like eating maybe? Maybe he's like eating some food. But this is the position of the Dilophosaurus. Like there's no way to bend his, his head up. So we've got a Dilophosaurus eating some food. And in here, looks like there's a wand. Oh, we've got the Elder Wand. Okay, ooh, that's pretty darn good replica. Oh, these are fun. I think these are glow-in-the-dark stickers. Oh, they're tattoos. Dinosaur tattoos. It's like a knockoff Hedwig Lego set. Look at that. That's fun. We have a wooden sign that says, Wizards Welcome, Muggles Tolerated. And it comes with some twine, so you can hang it up. It's this, ooh, the Marauder's Map. This is like a mini version of the Marauder's Map, but it does open all the way, just like the official one, with the foldouts, as well as character names and everything. This is probably the best, like, knockoff Marauder's Map that I've seen. They don't all, like, unfold that big. Then we also have Slytherin's Locket. It's actually really cool. See the snake in there? That's awesome. Does it open up? I think it does open up. It does. It's got a little magnet enclosure to keep it sealed. We also have, this says Magic World Castle Wall Art Print. Oh, these are cool. These are like on canvas. It's a set, Hagrid's Hut, Hogwarts Castle, and it's on this canvas so you could frame them 
and they're printed like watercolor. So here's Hedwig. It's like this whole set, the night bus. So like you could frame these and have them on your wall. That's really, really cool actually. And it looks like they're watercolors. And then last but not least, we have, it's the, okay, so this is interesting. It has a great amount of detail on here, on this Elder Wand. It's larger than the replica. The replica is probably about that long. This is about the size of the Cine Replica's Elder Wand pen, which is a little bit longer than the wand itself. But this is a, a great replica. Like a lot of detail, pretty well painted. So a good alternative to the Noble Collection wand or another more expensive version of the Elder Wand. Emily, thank you for sending these things for us to look at and kind of compare to other Harry Potter merchandise that's out there. So between the time of filming the P.O. Box unboxing and editing the video that you you guys are now watching, we received some more letters as well as a couple packages. So I'm gonna open these up so that you guys don't have to wait for like another who knows how long until the next PO Box unboxing video. So this is from Renee in Arkansas. Oh, look at that cute little niffler. And we've got a sticker in here. Peter, I stumbled across your channel a while back and you've inspired me to start my own collection. That is so cool. I'm a Hufflepuff and I'm including a sticker I created from Mama Potter Collector. Fun, that's really cute. Good job. A few months ago, I decided to step out of my comfort zone and started an Etsy shop. Whimsical Wren Press. Wishing you the very merriest of Christmases. Well, thank you very much, Renee. This is really cool. And I'm assuming this is also a card from your shop. That's beautiful. This is from Ronan in North Carolina. Hi, my name is Ronan, and I hope my owl made the trip from North Carolina. I'm a proud Gryffindor, and this is my first time writing. I'm in fourth grade, and I want to know who your favorite Death Eater is and your favorite order of the Phoenix member. Ooh, interesting. Favorite Death Eater is probably, probably Bellatrix Strange, because she is just crazy. And then favorite order member, I mean, Dumbledore is technically an order member, so I have to say Dumbledore, because he's also my favorite character. The day I wrote this letter to you, the day is 12 23 I subscribe to you, I don't know when you will read this. I might be 10, I'm nine right now. Well, Mr. Ronan, thank you very much for writing. Let's take a look at this picture. <gasps> oh, cool! Look at, look at that. It's Mr. Harry Potter and Hedwig. That's fantastic. Ronan, thank you so much again. We've got a postcard from Sarah in Canada. Look at this, isn't that beautiful? Wanting to wish you and your family the best in 2024. Love all of your videos, keep it up. You've taught me so much about Harry Potter and for that I want to say thank you from Sarah. P.S. I bought this card at Fan Expo Canada. Isn't it amazing? It is amazing. And K-pop, oh, I know K-pop. So I actually met K -pop, the, the person who makes these at um, C2E2, which is the Chicago Fan Expo. And what Kay does is she uses like pages from books and stuff and then paints on top of them. So there's Diagon Alley on top of the pages from the Harry Potter books titled Diagon Alley. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Sarah. And I wish you a very happy 2024 as well. This is from Bennett. And inside we have a letter. Dear Peter, Bennett talks about different books as well as chocolate frogs. Bennett, this is fantastic. Thank you so much for writing. Next up is a letter from Australia. Karen and Peter. That's fun, because my mom's name is Karen and my name is Peter. To Peter and family, have a very Merry Christmas and a happy 2024 from Karen and family. It's a cute little koala card. Very fun and appropriate. Hi, Peter, I hope you and your family are well. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and happy and safe new year. I was wondering if you read any fan fiction. If so, which sites do you go to? I don't. I don't really read any fan fiction. I'm very much a purist. I know there can be really good fan fiction, but when it comes to like fandoms that I love, I'm very much a purist and I like to stick to original text, which is probably why I'm not a big fan of Cursed Child. I enjoyed my trip to Uncelebration last January. It was great meeting everyone. I'm sorry that you were unable to go to due to your other commitments. We have had a lot of renovation projects going on in our house, so I have been unable to work on my crafts as much as I would have liked. I wanted to send you some more handmade crafts, but just did not have enough time to finish anything. I'm going to be in New York late April 2024 and was wondering if you would like to meet up and I could bring you some Aussie snacks. 
from Karen. Well, Karen, I am not gonna be in New York in April, but I hope that you have an incredible time and make sure that you go to the Harry Potter store in New York. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you too. Hope the renovations go well. All right, one more letter. This is from Katrina in Canada, Santa Claus. Hey, Peter, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you for asking. How are you doing? And thank you for this great card and Merry Christmas. Well, I hope you had a very Merry Christmas and hope you have a fantastic New Year. We have three different packages from the same person. Um, they come from Ruby in Georgia. Now, I'm guessing that these packages are full of gooey, gooeys, goodies? <laughs> They're full of goodies, goodies for the next Potter Collector sale, but we will find out. We've got a letter on top. Ooh, there's a lot of fun stuff in here. Peter Kenneth, beautiful handwriting, by the way. You can read this on camera. Do not read this on camera, just for my eyes. So let's open up this one. <laughs> I love it, love it. I always love receiving these cards, oh my gosh. Please read letter first. Happy holidays. Earlier this year, I sent you a DM on Instagram on sending you Harry Potter items that I was pulling from my collection. Well, here it is. Three boxes. I hope they all made it to you with no issue. Please include anything you find suitable in future Potter sales. I thank you very much for your channel and the Harry Potter content you share with the Harry Potter community. I also thank you for your positivity and encouragement to your viewers. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the holiday season with many blessings to surely come your way in 2024, Ruby. Ruby, thank you so much. I hope that many blessings come your way as well. All right, so now we've got, so we've got to read this next. I hope you enjoy just some photos I took of my bookshelves with my collection before I started downsizing. These make me very happy to see displaying items from many subscription boxes. Thank you for giving your viewers and the Harry Potter community a view into your collection. Wow, this is a huge collection. And holy cow, look at your golden egg like shelf. So here's Ruby's collection prior to downsizing. That's a huge collection. And I went through the exact same thing. So I understand when you feel the need to downsize. That's awesome. I'm gonna read this real quick. Thank you for the further explanation, Ruby. And also, I agree, as I mentioned before, you know, I, I downsized my collection of merchandise a bit and it was good. So kind of similar reasons. So that's all I'll say since you wanted me to keep this private, similar reasons. So um, I will make sure that these items get to a good home if they don't stay uh, here with me. But everything else I will make sure makes it to a good home in the next Potter Collector sale which should be sometime mid-February. Good enough to eat, but don't. What is this? We're just gonna open up a couple of these, these goodies. Oh, this is, this is, this is not going anywhere. This is for me. I didn't even know they made this. This is awesome. I've never seen this before. That is the cutest Funko Pop I've ever seen. And yes, it does look good enough to eat. That's a Adorable, absolutely adorable. This is staying with me. There's a few things that have, have notes on them. This says, for the Potter Collector, enjoy. What could this be? <gasps> you guys, you all know me way too well. Reese's. <sighs> and more Reese's. Thank you so much, Ruby, this is amazing. I am set, you guys. I am set for a while when it comes to Reese's. This guy is delicious. I've had one of him already for this, this season, and so we're just gonna like pop him open real quick and take a couple bites. Wait until you guys see. If you haven't seen one of these before, wait till you see just how much peanut butter is inside of this. Mm. I haven't even bitten into peanut butter yet. Well, I have now, but I could already taste it. So much peanut butter. And this guy is adorable. Reese's is my arch nemesis. Reese's is to me what Voldemort is to Harry, but I let him get me every time. I think it was really well packed. I think there are potions in here. Yes, potions in this box. Yes, I'm almost done with it. How many calories are in this? Five servings and 140 calories per serving. So that's 700 calories <laughs> in this entire thing. 
baby, it's worth it. There's a lot in here. Thank you very much for, for donating these Ruby to the sale. Oh, I love this thing so much. We've got hats, drawstring bags. There's a lot in here. Need to identify items. Oh, wow, that's, holy cow. You are very organized. That's amazing, thank you so much. That will indeed very much help. Oh yeah, I love this too. I know it can be difficult to get rid of your collection. Well, not really get rid of your entire collection, but to downsize, but then it feels so good. It does, it feels so good. I mean, you guys saw, I posted a whole video about downsizing my collection and it felt so good. And my philosophy is always, you know, if I get rid of something and I regret it, most of the time I'm able to purchase it again. And so far, I haven't regretted anything that I've sold or given away when I've downsized. So hopefully that's the same situation for you, Ruby. But once again, thank you very much for this donation. This is definitely going to help the Potter Collector channel keep running. To each and every one of you who sent something, whether it was a letter or a box or a package or artwork, thank you so much for sending some Lumos my way. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I love getting to know what you're up to, hearing about your story, and connecting in a different way that's outside of just comments or DMs. The Potter Collector community wouldn't exist if it weren't for you guys, so thank you for being a part of the Potter Collector community. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, on Twitter, now known as X at Potter Collector, or on Discord. The official Potter Collector Discord is linked down below. Say it with me, y'all. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome! We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?